Welcome to another video and today I'm reviewing the Redbacks kneeling mat. This is a little bit different when you compare it to conventional kneeling mats which use a foam to provide the support and cushioning for your knees. This uses a patented leaf spring design to provide that support for your knee instead. There are a number of advantages to this type of kneeling mat, most notably the ability of the kneeling mat to better distribute the weight, um, reducing the strain on your knees, meaning you can kneel down for longer with, without causing pain to your knees. I've always had slightly bad knees and sadly, being a gardener, they, they're not getting any better. So I've always been aware of this sort of kneeling mat and I've always been slightly put off by the price. This comes in at 60 pounds, which is a lot of money for a kneeling mat, but I decided to give it a go about three months ago. And I must say, I'm really glad I did. It is the best kneeling mat I've ever used, particularly when I'm kneeling down for long periods of time. It really is just a far nicer place to kneel down. The mat does a really good job of cushioning and supporting your knee even when you're kneeling down for long periods of time doing a tedious weeding job it really just constantly provides that support for you if you're taking value from this video don't forget to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this and once you're hitting that like button do me a big favor and hit that little cog and turn down the quality of the video down to 720 or 480 Really, you don't want to see me in HD and you'll be helping to reduce your carbon footprint at the same time. So big thank you if you do that. So with that said, back to the video. In addition to the leaf spring, it has a conventional foam pad at the top. This is just to provide a little bit of softness because the leaf springs themselves are of course plastic. So they are quite hard. Um, so that foam just gives you that little bit of softness, just makes it that little bit nicer to kneel on. It's also got a neoprene outer, so again, on a cold winter's day, that's nice and warm. So it really makes a, a nice place to kneel on. The outer case is also removable. So you can stick that in the wash um, as it does tend to get quite dirty when I'm using it in the garden. So that's a nice touch. Also the internal part of the kneeling mat is fully recyclable, which is a big thing for me. I like to know that the products I'm gonna use are gonna be recyclable somehow. And this one ticks that box really well. Not only that, but the overall design of the mat means that it's gonna be give you a much longer lifespan of the kneeling mat. Foam kneeling pads can wear out quite quickly, whereas this one is gonna last years and years. So again, that's say another tick for me on that one. So in terms of negatives for the kneeling mat, well, I really struggled with this one. The only couple of things I could think of was really just to do with the size and the weight of it. So it's quite a sizable kneeling mat, as you can see and it's quite weighty as well. So it's not quite as portable as your conventional foam mats, but it's no real issue, but it is quite a weight. And of course, that price tag as well, being 60 pounds, it's pretty steep. So is it worth the price tag? Well, I think it comes down to how much you're gonna use it. For me personally, using it every day gardening, it makes a lot of sense and I already feel like it's paid for itself. It's a much nicer kneeling mat than I've ever used before. I'm happy to pay that price. And I think anyone who potentially has bad knees or is working in the trade, doing sort of jobs that you spend a lot of time on your knees, I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, why wouldn't you get the best kneeling mat you can? And this is as good a kneeling mat as you can get. So I think that makes a lot of sense and 60 pounds when you put it in that context, doesn't really seem like a lot at all. So if you are kneeling down a lot, I highly recommend this. This is just brilliant and definitely worth checking out. If you are just buying it for the garden or something to kneel on at home or something like that, I think realistically, there's no point paying the money. Get yourself a conventional foam mat. It will be absolutely fine. It will give you that support for those short periods of time that you're gonna be kneeling down on it and it will be absolutely fine. You save yourself a few bob and there's no need to splash out and get something like this. I will of course leave a link to this in the description so you can check it out there. And if you've got any comments about the product, then drop them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And don't forget to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this. And that just leaves me to say, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.